Hi, everybody. Oh, well, it is now January 2nd, the second day into 2019. It's 12.06 a.m. on the East Coast, and I started not feeling well again a little while ago. I crashed. I started feeling uh, depressed, no energy, but I was sitting here and suddenly my face it was it felt like something was vibrating under my cheek and I went to this site just to see what was happening and this this is what is happening I live right here these are very powerful frequencies affecting this entire area Georgia South Carolina in particular Okay. Um, well, I'll let you see. I took a capture of this before. I just wanted to bring up some research that I had done on ultra low frequencies. And that is what you were seeing these ultra low frequencies, the straight bands, the very long bands ultra-low frequencies have a range of like 300 miles and they fan out they're directional uh, so they can they could literally affect encompass a 300 mile radius from just one well Gwen Tower Gwen Towers are different from cell towers and I'll let you see a picture of what Gwen Towers look like. But it was, I, I took a capture of this maybe 20 minutes ago, and it is slightly different. This is what was going on 20 minutes ago. So it seems that there was, I don't know, far more intensity of these ultra-low frequencies being set off. In reading your comments, you know, my heart breaks because so many of you are really struggling. So many are struggling now. And I read a comment just <laughs> that was just left um, here. Hoping you are feeling at least a little better. No use in saying get well soon. Some of us have no chance of ever being well again. And that is true. It's not negative. It's not pessimistic. Pessimistic. This is the reality of what we are living. And it's interesting because there are so many who are unable to get well. And they do so much. They spend an enormous amount of money on uh, detox, detox ingredients and all sorts of um, like gadgets in the hopes that they're going to feel better in terms of the frequencies. Um, I did get an email from a subscriber slash friend in Dallas and once again she's having to go in for surgery she just had surgery and it did not uh, the hope of that surgery was that she would be out of the physical pain that she is in now they're recommending more surgery I spoke to a neighbor a little while ago and that neighbor said I can't believe how many people are sick she cannot get rid of this sinus infection that she has she was in bed all day feeling sick she uh, spoke with two other neighbors who both feel like they might be coming down with the flu and you could not have the flu but these frequencies can make you feel like you have the flu um, that, that, look, 
I have to say that it really upsets me that I have been brought to a condition where basic functioning is uh, is even limited now. I, am, I, I literally don't know what I'm doing. It's scary. For those of you who are alone dealing with an awful lot, I fully understand. You know, you who are older, alone, and dealing with so much already, uh, look, you know, life is becoming very, very difficult for an awful lot of people. I'm just putting out, I'm putting that out so that all of you who are feeling alone and have nowhere to turn, have, uh, you know, you don't turn to anybody anymore because you've been so thoroughly vilified by those who just don't believe you. I, I know what it feels like. This is so heartbreaking that <laughs> this is what life has become. So let me show you uh, what a Gwen Tower looks like. And if you go to your area, you will, uh, either on Google Earth or just driving around, if you see these towers that are much higher than a cell phone tower, and they have these wires coming down to the ground in a circular pattern, that's a Gwen Tower. They can emit very dangerous, extremely low frequencies through the ground. That's why a lot of people feel a vibration. No, you're not crazy. You can feel a vibration on the ground or uh, in you know some room in your house, but they can also emit extremely low frequencies up into the atmosphere. So this right here is the extremely low frequency facility in Cutler, Maine. If you're driving around the interstate, you will see areas in our country where there are just a load of Gwent Towers back to back. There's a place, I believe it's Maryland, though, oh, maybe it's Pennsylvania, I cannot remember, but there are about 20 of these towers on one side of the interstate and about 20 on the other side. There's no, there is no reasonable explanation for that many Gwen Towers, and Gwen the, the, uh, it's ground wave emergency network. Well, it was decommissioned in the seventies for an emergency network system. So why are they littered all over the country? Why are they constructed all along our interstates? And why do you come across areas where there are, there's just a load of them? You know, 20 on one side, 20 on the other, because they are your transmitter sites that are working with your Doppler radar to create, modify, manipulate, intensify weather fronts. Um, but I just want to show you that what you are seeing here affects all life, all life. And it absolutely affected me tonight. I couldn't believe that I went from, I was doing uh, some research and I was reading an article and I have to sit way back from the computer screen because they can emit frequencies right through this screen that can affect your nervous system. So I sit very far back. You now I just increase the, uh, uh, the, 
I just, you know, do the zoom so that I can read very far back. Okay. Um, it was sudden. I suddenly felt like my eyes were just going to close. I had no more energy and I felt very depressed. Well, extremely low frequencies, ultra low frequencies can induce not only depression, but an awful lot. So I'm not going to be reading all of these, uh, you know, studies that I will show you, but uh, they're associated with depressive disorders in human beings. Uh, may interfere with the tonic aspects of neural, neuronal input in the pineal gland, which that gland in itself is really important to your well-being. So if uh, long-term exposure to these extremely low frequency fields cause pineal dysfunction in human beings, as it did in the rats that they did the study on, such dysfunction may contribute to the onset of depression or may exacerbate existing depressive disorders. When you have all of these weapons that they are using against us, it takes enormous strength to just keep going. But it's important to know that if you are feeling a certain way and you can't understand why, and the onset was quick, you can bet that it does not have anything to do with you. It has to do with weapons they are using against you. Not you particularly, or but people can be targeted individually. But when you see this going on, this is not our radar stations, you know, looking, uh, searching, you know, for planes. These are weapons that you're looking at. Weapons to affect people in this area. And I just want to also show you that Texas, well, it seemed as if, you know, Things were getting relatively calm in this area, but this was last night, Texas and Louisiana. How were you guys feeling in Texas and Louisiana last night? All right. Um, so, depression. And here, this is about Gwen Towers. Perception and behavioral effects of electromagnetic fields. In the radio frequency range of concern for assessment of Gwen sites, there have been many reports of sensory perception, stimulation of nervous structures by electric and magnetic fields and associated currents in the body. Above a threshold that is frequency dependent, these currents are perceived as painful stimulus that increases with current intensity, sorry. Um, other studies notice small changes in EEG patterns. Uh, many of you have left comments or left me emails. You're experiencing heart palpitations. We can't change this, not with so many people just discounting it or not caring or um, calling you crazy because they don't feel something? Um, well, all right, I've got to get this. Hang on. I was sent this, uh, Neurological Effects of Radio Frequency Electromagnetic Radiation, this study that I have done videos on. Um, but, you know, if you want to read this, everything will be linked to below. And one of the things uh, that is not mentioned very often 
is these frequencies don't affect everybody exactly the same. It is, it, it is dependent upon whether you are moving around or stationary, the size of your body, the energy absorption pattern in the body, um, here, rate of absorption and the distribution of the radio frequency radiation energy in an organism depends on many factors. The dielectric composition, ability to conduct electricity of the irradiated tissue, bones with a lower water content, absorb less of the energy than muscles, the size of the object relative to the wavelength of the radio frequency, radiation, the shape, geometry, orientation of the object, the configuration of the radiation itself, how close one is to the radio frequency radiation source, all of this is factors. So you could feel horrible sitting right next to somebody who doesn't feel a thing. Unfortunately, the person who doesn't feel a thing will then just go to your crazy or your hypochondriac or you're making it up or yada yada yada. So um, the effects are non-uniform and that is a very important point so you might want to you know print out this study this paper and hand it to people who don't believe you because they're not feeling anything um, so the Gwen Towers this is what you are looking at. These frequencies that this study pertains to. Shocks and burns. I have stated and I posted videos on my first Kafka Winston World channel showing you the burns on my feet right on up to my knees. I didn't understand what was happening, but I was walking around barefoot and it, I was a stone's throw from a Gwen Tower and a cell phone tower. But when I started, you know, I, I would come home from this area where I'd be walking around barefoot with my dogs playing and I'd come home and my legs were swollen. I'd have weird indents on my leg. It, there were times when it looked like I had a inverse tennis tan, you know, if you ever played tennis and you were wearing those socks that just, you know, came up above your ankles, then you had a tan or a burn on your legs, but then it was a very defined cut where those socks were and your feet looked like you were dead because they were so white. I was coming home with an inverse. You know, uh, the, my feet right on up past my ankles, extremely defined burn on both feet, right above my ankle. Then it would just stop. And then sometimes it would just go above the knee. And so I had no clue what was going on until I did research, came across a military funded study on Gwen Towers. When people say ground yourself, go out and walk barefoot, make sure you're not around a Gwen Tower because barefoot in that study, it said the worst condition that you can place yourself in is barefoot around a Gwen Tower. Wear antennas and barefoot you're pulling these frequencies 
rapidly and more intensely right to your feet and they go on up throughout your body to your head. So you've got to be very careful with the grounding. Anyway, the shocks and burns, yeah. When the human body is in an electromagnetic frequency of suitable frequency and intensity and it makes contact with the conducting body in the same field, an electrical current is produced that can cause perceptible electrical shock, muscular contractions, burns, possible death. Heating. If enough RF power is absorbed in human tissue, especially skin, it can raise the tissue temperature and cause a sensation of warming. How many of you have suddenly felt like you have a hot flash? But it's not, you know, it's not like this, uh, you know, menopausal hot flash. Or It's related to a intensity change. Or you were hit with a microwave from a cell tower or antenna. Um, auditory perception, of course, a special effect has been reported in which microwave RF emitted in the form of very short pulses is perceived by humans and animals as clicks or buzzing or um, the, the range of sounds that one hears, they call it tinnitus. Right now, I'm having a high pitch in my left ear, and the buzzing has just really gotten quite loud. Um, so everybody experiences it differently. But what does that mean? It means that your ear, your, your head, you know, it's swelling. Not a great explanation, Carol, but it's the best I can do right now. You can read all about it. You know, you read these studies and you have to wonder, oh my God, just the tinnitus alone is doing so much damage to our ears, our brains. Um, yes, so clicks or other sounds, and oh, okay, it's the expansion of tissues and fluids in the head and is sensed by auditory receptors. Expanding tissues in your head, the expansion of fluids in your head, do you think that is a good thing? Of course it's not. Auditory perception of pulse microwave fields First reported in 1947, studied extensively. Sensations were perceived as buzzing, ticking, hissing, or knocking. Um, and the sound was perceived at all frequencies up to 8.9 gigahertz. Behavioral changes, radio frequency, extremely low frequency range, have yielded perceptual and behavioral, behavioral responses, including fatigue, difficulty in concentrating, and increased frequency of headaches. Number of researchers have used disruption of behavior patterns, such as work stoppage. You know, these uh, experiments, suddenly they found uh, just people stopping working, or the rats that they were using, or dogs they've experimented on. Oh, God, so many species. Um, Yeah. So, complaints include irritability, lethargy, insomnia, impotence, headaches, loss of memory, inability to concentrate, syndrome identified as microwave sickness. Uh, it's uh, unfortunately. Chronic exposure, the cumulative effect is extremely detrimental to our health. People are already dying. Don't fool yourself. People are already dying from this fabulous new world that has manifested. 
this is a very good article, but just want to see uh, the n notable number of applications that infrasound which these extremely low frequencies are within the sonic and ultrasonic um, that's where they reside on the electromagnetic continuum uh, just to read some vertigo imbalance resonance in inner organs now resonance resonance means because we are electromagnetic beings and everything that's happening with us within our body relates to frequencies these frequencies, the neurotransmitters, our cells, everything has a frequency and the frequencies the external frequencies can be match to your frequency and when that happens the frequencies resonate and at that point they can do an awful lot to control you now I've posted videos on this showed you all of the evidence the documents the studies and I can't in every single video prove every point I'm making. They can literally change your natural frequencies. When these frequencies are being set off, especially the, the ground frequencies, this is changing the Earth's resonance that the human being used to be in balance with that you know allowed us to feel good so now we're left with a whole lot of us feeling like hell and everybody should be really very angry about that so uh, intolerable sensations um, <laughs> the heart can be affected right on up to death incapacitation, disorientation, nausea, vomiting, bowel spasms um, and more so it's uh, they go on to the physical and the psychological effects and vibrational movements within the ears function causes psychological changes such as fear, sorrow, depression, anxiety, nausea, chest pressure, hallucinations, the effect of emotional and psychological change as a result of infrasonic exposure can later be found during well they go into the history and um, but they used psychoacoustic attacks during the Vietnam War. Oh, and those psychoacoustic attacks in Cuba against uh, our embassy personnel, um, attacks against an American in China. And militaries have been using these weapons against innocent civilians for a very very long time um, so your emotional and psychological well-being can be changed when exposed to these frequencies um, this is a very good article as well there are established biological effects from acute exposure external Extremely low frequency magnetic fields induce electric fields and currents in the body, which at very high field strengths cause nerve and muscle stimulation changes in nerve cell excitability in the central nervous system, um, possibly carcinogenic, and 
an awful lot of references to work off of. So, you know, look, I can't tell you how many studies, articles, documents, military studies, um, that's just Wi-Fi dangers. Here is more and more and more under bio initiative report. 5G lockdown. Ultra low frequencies. All the studies. All the evidence. That our health overall health, psychological, spiritual, mental, physical, it's being controlled. It's all being controlled. Studies, 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 studies. And this is how we have to live. As well as the mind control aspect of these frequencies and more on the mind control, um, targeted individuals, Wi-Fi dangers. Yeah, they claim that there aren't any studies, no conclusive studies that show that Wi-Fi is dangerous and none, really? Okay. So we are forced to live this way. Many of us are absolutely getting worse due to the cumulative effect. I'm not going to candy coat it. Um, I want to say to all of you that if you're still capable of functioning, please reduce your exposure to the best of your ability. If you have Wi-Fi and you still haven't made any moves to remove the Wi-Fi, get rid of it, and to get an Ethernet cable that will give you a hardwired access to your internet. If you have not removed that cell phone from your bedside table as you're trying to sleep, if you um, have a lot of electronic gadgets and remote phones, um, you're on your cell phone all the time, you're it's like, you know, eight inches away from your face because you're texting or you're doing this. You are in danger and you're, you're endangering yourself. You will get to a point where you'll have serious medical issues or those medical issues that Doctors just can't quite diagnose, or they might just call it fibromyalgia, or chronic fatigue. And you get worse. If you're a parent and your children have cell phones and are living in your home with Wi-Fi, you are endangering your children. Now, I'm going to be very honest. I just spent 2018 trying very hard to change, you know, how I was feeling and I was not successful. So my videos may change. I am absolutely experiencing something with my brain that is not right <laughs> um, in terms of You know, you see the video that I finally post. You don't see everything else that's taking place. My memory, short term, wow. Uh, not good. I literally do not know what I'm doing. And that is scary. Now, I don't sit, you know, uh, all huddled up in a fetal position, oh, I'm so scared, I'm scared. But I recognize that, yeah, I'm going to die soon. 
I'm going to die way earlier than I would have. And when you know that, your thinking shifts, your perspective shifts. And my main concern, because I know that we don't, we're no army, we're no, we're not fighting the evil. My main concern are all of those who are suffering. And I wish to hell that there was a way that we could figure out how to help them. Please leave comments below. I mean, look, I can't help people. I have no money. I am, um, I live, you know, what a lot of people are living. Stress beyond belief. Um, my car, once again, I, I, look, I'm also going to be posting a video on how I really identify with people who have been targeted. Not the gang stalking targeted. There are different programs of targeting. And I really identify. And to those who have claimed that I am targeted, I can never state that definitively because, yes, I do need very clear evidence before I come out and say that. But something very wrong has happened to my life. And people turning, people behaving in ways that have truly left me even more shell-shocked Um, not quite, I don't know anymore. I really, so I need to post videos that, you know, I just, for some reason, feel the need to speak certain things. And maybe, maybe just in doing that, I'll come back. I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on with me, but, um, This feeling of just not being yourself anymore and, you know, living in a condition that is just, you're surrounded by a lot of very hostile people, uh, the property manager, the maintenance guys. I can't believe what the hell is going on here. But they went up to a neighbor's apartment and knocked on our door. She came out and... I've got a picture of you in the woods feeding cats. I have a picture of you. I sent it to Holly. You're in violation of your lease. She wasn't. The same neighbor, the maintenance guy, he threatened her and told her that she was going to have to pay for the insulation that was down in the building, not even her building, because she feeds the cats. Now, they don't close off the window wells, so animals go in there, squirrels, mice, all, but he literally threatened her and threatens her again. You know, it's like living, you're never at peace. The stress here has just been phenomenal. Um, so, are people being controlled by these frequencies? It was not like this when I first moved in. And another neighbor said the same thing. She said, I can't believe how rude people are. I can't believe how mean people are. Um, Yeah, something's going on. Now, I have seen an increase in the use of these weapons on these sites. It's going to increase, and we're going to see behavioral changes in people that are close to us. We're going to see behavioral changes in, you know, our community members. We're going to see more and more violence. We're going to see more and more insanity. I hope I'm wrong. And if I am, boy, will I come out and very, with a big smile on my face, telling you, 
I was wrong and I'm really happy to admit it, but I do believe that that is coming. So we do need to always keep ourselves in check, um, increase our awareness of our own selves, increase our awareness of our surroundings so that we are not surprised by, you know, some behavior in community members who might just uh, be nuts, but there's a lot of work to do individually to keep ourselves safe. And the number one, and I'll end with this, the number one, the number one thing you've got to do is reduce your exposure. Reduce your exposure. Because the changes that happen could be very subtle. The chronic exposure is affecting you physically. That certainly you should worry about. But it affects you mentally and emotionally and spiritually. And some, for, you know, everybody experiences it differently. But the subtle changes you might not even notice. And that's why it's really important to have an awareness of who you are, an awareness of your physicality, your emotional self, your way of thinking, your mental states. That way, the greater awareness you have, the more you'll be able to recognize changes that are induced not changes due to, you know, something that has happened to you, uh, something your, your circumstances have changed. Yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> wow, man. What a trip life has become, huh?